Hey, welcome back for DevVlog3. Um, so, I uh, got a few updates from the last two weeks. Um, these last two weeks have been more about sort of trying to get the word out and uh, doing a little bit more community engagement. But there are still a few things I've, I've done. Um, the first you might notice, if you're really eagle-eyed, is uh, Fighter Files now has a new font. Um, so this will be coming in the next major release. Uh, so it's not live yet. This is my development server, but my sister uh, got me onto this really nice font called GT Maru. Um, I think it's, it's made by sort of a Swedish um, design company. Uh, they have one of the cutest <laughs> websites I've seen. It's so cool. Um, anyway, this really sold me on it. I think the, the, the font I had before, I, I really liked it, but it didn't have... I chose it before sort of the theme of the website was really nailed down. Um, and this font, as you can see, <laughs> is super cute. Um, and I think it just fits the kind of uh, cuteness that uh, Fighter Files is trying to go for. <laughs> so um, it's, also, it's also a lot easier to read. Um, I don't know if I have any like long text to show uh, because these are just all test <laughs> test plants in my in my server yeah it's all just gobbledygook um but yeah it's it's easier to read uh in in paragraphs than um i was the other one was a a mono mono space that's it it was a monospace font, um, and this one just feels, um, it's not a monospace font, uh, and it feels just a lot more on brand than the other one. So I bought a license for this, which was insanely expensive, but I think it was worth it. It's, uh, it's just, yeah, it's made everything feel a lot more uh, on brand, which is pretty cool. I'm excited about that, well, that actually. It's a small change, but... There's like a quote somewhere that like 50% uh, of uh, web design is just choosing the font. Uh, I think <laughs> that's pretty true. <laughs> um, I've been working on uh, the projects. So on the full site, uh, this just has a little like, it's coming soon sign. Uh, so this is what's coming soon. Um, so I've been working on this page. So when you click on projects, you'll have a bunch of cards. Um, you'll be able to make however many uh, projects you want. You can delete them, you can rename them. This is a project. Um, you'll be able to invite them. Um, invite system quite complex architecturally, uh, just because there's a lot of like security stuff you have to kind of jump through uh, to get this all working really well. Um, I've also, yeah, I have <laughs> couldn't remember if I actually um, uh, had implemented the search, but there's search. So if you have like a few hundred of these projects, you'll be able to find them. You can also pin them, which is really nice. So this, this is actually pretty, um, this is pretty solid, I think. I think this is nearly done. Um, I can't really think of much else I'd want to put here. Uh, but when you click on them, uh, you go into the project itself. So uh, if you've ever used Trello, this is going to feel really natural. Um, uh, and in my last project, uh, my last video, I talked a lot about um, doing that Kanban uh, and I've implemented that now and you can see um, it's uh, all functioning like a thing. You can say um, this is like um, testing. So you have to you have to test for every scenario. So like in the scenario that an image doesn't load, I have to you know handle that gracefully. So that's why that's showing a error message. Uh, so these are going to be your plants um, and your mixes. So you can add new mixes. 
you can delete mixes. Um, what I haven't got integrated yet is adding plants. And there's gonna be two ways to add plants into these uh, Kanbans. It's like, one is you can just search the entire database. If you know like your plants really well, you can just type them in and you'll it'll just drop down the best or the, the most voted, highly voted plants with that matching uh, name. The other is there's gonna be add plants, which will be like the plants that you've saved to your collection. So like your favorites um, and any uh, playlists, not playlists, any collections you've made, um, you can add them here. Um, yeah, what else? Oh, uh, <laughs> so this is a really exciting thing. So. So this is a second window. So you can imagine these are like two different uh, people working on this project at the same time. Well, that was a little bit slow. <laughs> well, there we go. It's going a little bit faster. You can see um, it's live now. So this is how multiplayer is going to work essentially is, um, if you've ever used like, uh, uh, like word, uh, online, there's that kind of multiplayer aspect to it. Um, this is going to have the same thing, uh, which is really cool. And that's the reason why there's going to be an invite, um, option. So you'll be able to invite your colleagues and you can all work on the same document at the same time, if that's what you're into, um, which is pretty cool. Um, that kind of comes free, uh, using Firebase, which is really nice. It's just like the way Firebase works. Um, yeah. Uh, and that's, that's pretty much it on the development side of things. This is quite difficult because there's um, a few sort of like glitches and things that I have to work out. Like you can see my scene, like it, this pop up is like flashing around when this thing moves. Um, that's the other thing I'm integrating is like, uh, uh, you can only drag and drop in desktop. So uh, in mobile view, um, you have to be able to click a button in order to like move this thing right or left. Um, same goes for these things. Uh, so there's some issues here that I'm having to work out. I had thought I've, I w fixed this, but apparently I haven't. Uh, so yeah, there's, there's, um, this is sort of like quite a complex little um, system of things. <laughs> so it's, it's gonna take a while. Um, but yeah, I th I'm really um, happy with sort of the styling. Um, I really like, you kind of get the little preview of the images as well. I was also thinking about like, um, these tiles might be colored like the flower color. And if they don't have flowers, then the leaf color. Uh, which kind of could be kind of cool, but might also look a bit gaudy. I, d I don't know. Um, just trying to think like what is the maximum amount of <laughs> information I can kind of give you without um, it becoming very overwhelming. So yeah, I mean, you can click on these uh, these little cards to get the full information as well. Um, these are like test plants, so <laughs> I just like... It's just the maximum amount of information these things can hold just to like test the edge cases basically. Um, so that's that's all the development I've kind of gotten to. Um, I slowed down a little bit just because I've been like 100% um, speed for like the last two months to get into alpha. Um, and I'm needing a little rest, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, so yeah, slowing down a little bit, trying to enjoy just like making these systems, which is, you know, um, it's really nice just to take things slower. Um, but the other thing is I launched the, uh, Land Arc Tools, um, uh, Discord, which is, has done really well. <laughs> I've actually had this Discord for two years. 
Um, but I just like I didn't really think anyone would really be bothered <laughs> to to join. But um, we've had like I don't know, we had like like over fifty people join, which is pretty nuts. <laughs> uh, and 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 to be clear, this is not like um, fighter file specific. Uh, it's more just about technology in landscape architecture, whether that's BIM, uh, computational design, or AI. Uh, I think, I don't know, uh, a nice forum to talk about those things. And I've even been chatting about variable offsets, which is a massive pain to do in Grasshopper. Um, and <laughs> and uh, yeah, we've made some progress on that, and that's pretty cool. So if you are into nerdy stuff, uh, come join. Um, or if you're into, yeah, well, I was gonna say BIM's not nerdy, but BIM's definitely nerdy. <laughs> if you're into any anything like that, uh, come join. Um, I'll put the I'll put the link in the description. Um, but yeah, that's that's the last two weeks. Uh, not not too not too shabby um yeah i'll uh, i'll see you in the next two weeks um oh uh yeah sorry i'm all scattered all over the place um i'm also teaching at rmit um well not i don't know if you'd call it teaching um just talking to the students i think um but they're they're gonna be using fighter files um, submitting some plants, um, giving me feedback. Um, it's already generated a bit of heated debate, <laughs> which is pretty cool. Uh, I love it. Um, uh, some really sharp students there, um, sharper than I was. <laughs> so it's good. Um, yeah, so I'm excited to see how they feel about it um, and if they hate it. Uh, and if they do, how can I change it? <laughs> uh, or if they like it, then that's fantastic. Uh, yeah. So I'll see you in two weeks. Thanks. Thanks, everyone.